What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption Forty Six Studios. Boy, that was a cold one. I'm Nick. Keith. I'm young, low, you need that. Oh and yeah, I'm he's Curtis. Awake. <laughs> you know the vibes. I seen the thumbnail. You seen the picture. Y'all know why y'all here. Beautiful Chungha State tonight. Special Patreon request from Amanda P. Uh, my baby hasn't been on this channel in a minute now. I miss her. It's like two months. That's a minute. What was the last one? Bicycle. Yeah, what was the first one? Well, um, there was a couple. Um, Dream of You she, is my. She started a controversial night. Yeah, that uh, that, that night may have changed. Reacting here. <laughs> <laughs> that that night controversial. People were being People were drawing I ain't gonna say That's the whole reason But that night Birthing me Becoming an insomnia Um For real Oh it was a lot Yeah a lot happened that night Yeah, that, that, um, that yeah a lot happened Outside of that But I think that was tonight I think that was the name of, No play Play was the uh, Play was the Chunk Hot song That we that, that, Yeah The night we talked Dream of me okay. was the one I liked though. Yeah um, But yeah Without further ado It's been a minute Let's, let's jump into the show Shit. Stunning. That was nice. Chung Ha, I'm always surprised I don't hear more about and from her. 
Um, her views be alright though. Yeah, no, they, they they be straight, but they, they be don't certain. be what I would expect for her because she kind of gives me out of everybody in SK, she gives me like B energy, Beyonce. Oh, okay. Like that's, that's a nice compliment. Yeah, mm-hmm. she she gives me B energy. Like her background dancers are always on point. They got that sass, you know, to them. Like I always. You can always see that is they're, they're never lacking in everything um, or anything rather. Um, her vocals are always on point. Uh, I would love to hear her live too, then see how much I could apply that compliment to that to that element of it too. Outside of this, I've heard uh, like "Dream of You," like mm-hmm. just uh, like acoustic or live and stuff all like that. Yeah, she is still she's like sturdy. that. She's sturdy. Still sturdy. See, yeah, and then like her her sets. Everything they definitely fit with the vibe of the song. Um, everything is clean. These visuals, like you could tell, it shot with something. Like there's a budget behind this. Everything with her, her costumes, it, it all just screams superstar. More than um, most, and it's not shitting on any other other uh, ladies that we've seen solo win- ladies. But out of all the solo women that I've seen or solo uh, lady performances, she's the one. Like I said, that really kind of gives me. B energy. You think she should have like hundred million view type? Yeah, I think she or you know half a B or Mm -hmm. something like that. That's that's just kind of what I expect from her, uh, from someone of that stature. But I know we know they react to soloists differently than groups. So you know there's that. But as far as this song, I really like uh, the vibe. It's definitely we getting a lot of house upbeat dance music this summer. That's pretty dope. Uh, I don't know how recent this is, but so just <laughs> this is three years old. This has 25 million views. She got some stuff, 93 million views, mm-hmm. 50 million, 12. Um, so there and mind you, I think me and Lo had this conversation before 42 million for play that yeah. we watched in the K world. If you have like 11 or 15, I don't want to say like you a big deal, but that's nah, kind of like yeah, a nice yeah. push. I'm, we're talking about a country that's like, I think the population is 50 million. Mm-hmm. So that's like insane. That's that's still a lot of, and I think the the problem is also we compare. It, I'm not just saying we're comparing it to idols, but we see so many idol things, and they're always over a bean or something like that, and that's usually the case. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, motherfucker, we want to have 23 million <laughs> in one video. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but I I think this is like I said, very dope. Um, I love I love the upbeat energy. I love her background dancers. This is definitely. I'm not really a a dancing guy, but if I was in this vibe and everything like that, this is sure. definitely a song to get me voguing and you know everything like that. I could definitely appreciate. It. Like I said, I love the um, use of those sets uh, and the, the outfits and everything like that. Really, really match the the uh, upbeat electronic uh, EDM mm-hmm. sound. But yeah, this little bop, sexy as shit. It's yeah. gonna be a yes for me, dog. Yeah, my <laughs> my first What's time it? uh running into her was uh the rain situation when she was with Rain on um on his comeback. Mm. Um just being on a track with Rain already says enough for me. Um if y'all know y'all know about him. He's your idol's favorite idol. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. one of the, one of them kind of situations. Um so like that was already kind of a good stepping stone for her. Mm-hmm. Dream of you kind of just blew me away and then I love when we did uh play mm-hmm. and she has a certain synergy with her. Um like you said, it's something about her performances. I I went on record before. I think we I don't even know if it was on record cuz I think it was off air or whatever when we had a debate about her and another young lady and I just think that when it comes to performances and choreography, it's not too many people seeing her. Mm-hmm. Um just because like you said She's always the focal point, but everything just looks so grand and decent, and the backup mm-hmm. dancers are always on point. The aesthetic, the costumes, the set design. It doesn't um, look cheap whatsoever. Yeah, like everything just looks so like just just grand and decent. And like you said, it's almost everything. It's from the production of the music, from her voice, mm-hmm. um, to the cuts and everything that was going on here. I love the sound. This is that '90s house music mm-hmm. with sprinkles of like EDM pop. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to call it um, just a good sound that ten years from now would sound good, and this would have sound good ten years ago. Um, she's gorgeous. <laughs> I should go without saying. Um, but just 
um, I guess I always say someone being cute is one thing because that'll get you to kind of attend the party. Yeah. For you to stay, you need the talent and the personality and everything to kind of just also be on point. Yeah. And she she hasn't really let let me down with pretty much anything yet. So I'm real anxious to kind of get a little bit more tracks from her. Um, because at this point, even just those three songs are kind of different. Yeah, uh, Dream of You is kind of more of like a, a pop love song kind of with still dancing in it yeah play was that um like we said kind of like the down south latina slash caribbean mm-hmm. kind of like you know the last you know, like one we did was more hip-hop did you hit uh, was that bicycle? Mm-hmm. oh yeah we did bicycle um yeah we did bicycle right that, was that the most recent one we did uh, yes i think that was the most recent one we did. Patreon. um yeah i believe we did bicycle if i'm not mistaken and, uh, and then we did this, so it's like all the sounds were a little different. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I love Shorty to death. I'm ready to do some more reactions from her. How y'all feel while a little fact check? Yeah, Bicycle. Mm-hmm. Why don't we play Dream Why of You? That's all we, we did, yeah. Oh, she mm-hmm. was in that job? Why, Why don't, don't we? Okay, yeah, yeah. Killed it. Yeah. <clears throat> Dancing with Rain. Um, just to get it out the way, she is absolutely... Gorgeous. Um, I try not to, uh, you know, look at. I won't say look at, but like kind of, like Make oh my god. Focal point of well, not just well that and kind of like gawk over the same people that everybody else on the panel gawk over. I kind of like to do my own thing a little bit. There's no point of everybody liking the same person. Um, but she's fucking gorgeous. Um, she looks like she's about five one. But the way she carries herself and presents herself on stage and her, her presence is like 6'3". Like, she always commands whatever room, whatever set piece she's in. And she's never overlooked. She's never looked past. Um, even, like, something subtle is, is always captivating with her. Um, the song is dope. I love the 90s house slash EDM pop vibe. Um, all the looks are amazing. Um, <sighs> bruh. Whoever, th- the editor needs a fucking hand. Um, all the cuts are clean. All the match cuts, even in the beginning, clean. Um, all the shit is just crazy. I thought he was about to say that. I swear to God I did. I was what? like, Keith, <laughs> too. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Pardon me, it's the hour of the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, I do like the choreography. Um, like Lo alluded to, he was joking, I guess, when he said it, but he was absolutely correct. A lot of voguing, um, a lot of whacking as well. Oh, that's, that's um, which you know is kind of like voguing, but more arm movements and shit like that. It's it's a whole strike pose, Nick. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's almost. <laughs> I haven't really even line. seen it a lot in the K world, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be surprised. I see. It. I'm surprised I don't see it more. Yeah. Um. That yeah yeah. I think it's actually harder to do than a lot of people as far as like hitting like the yeah jokingly people think it's just <laughs> thinking this, like it's just that and doing that, it yeah. and making it look present or so executing it well. I, I, I think it's that, but I also I, I don't know and I don't want to say like oh yeah it's this, but it, I don't how receptive because you see the men in like feminine type um, makeup address and also moving in a feminine manner feminine manner how receptive is. The uh, from a society standpoint, is that over there? Man, I don't know. So what I, I don't what these, you said, Dreamer, you got like thirty mil. They, they, man, but what I, these I idols be dressing and looking like? Yeah, I don't. Like that. Yeah, but that's there's between androgynous. It, and bro, it's re- I'm not gonna lie. It's really not like House point. of Dragon type stuff. You nails, know nails be painted. Is lipstick, makeup, and like I said, I don't have a problem. My only thing is, if the shit looks good, no, no, absolutely. It's good. So, but, but, it's, but that's from us. That, like, we're kind of used to it now. Like, but, but that's what I'm we've saying. We've been seeing this since the fucking nineties. Literally, one of my, um, one of my like lessons on a, um, on the Duolingo thing is mm-hmm. straight up. They refer to the idols as Korea's pretty boy singers. So, like, that's so okay, Duolingo. If you would take a uh, hung, 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 hung on there. That's literally what they do. So it's it's a known thing. Like it's and we it so goes why, back to one of our. So first why do fan bases act like so offended when it, when it's brought up though? You know what? That's another topic for another yeah. day. We're not getting into that. But, but, uh, I, 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 I do. Probably, I do get what you're saying though. But like yeah. you wonder how receptive right. they are to it because we you weren't here for the Holland videos. Yes, I was. But 
I don't know if I was here for both of them. I know you did too. I was here for one of them. I think I, I think I was here for one. I was here for for the first one. You was here for the first one. That's right. Because the the very first. I think the second one I was out on. I was out on leave. But (laughs) like I said, I don't think because obviously it may be a little bit more overt with her how she's dancing compared Mm -hmm. to like how the the um the idols are doing their thing. So I don't think it's it may be much of a thing. But I swear that's why I want more like SK. Subs just to kind of chat with them and ask them stuff like that. We also spoke about this too. I think the non idol artists and the older artists give are given so much more freedom as far as being sexual, as far as being you know what I mean, just open and not having a highlight. Like she could have a guy in her video and nobody would say shit. But she's still technically an idol. She's still in really? stone, mu- yeah, stone music and everything. Like this is. She- Technically, still an idol. I love that part, yo. That little bop, even some man. of these other sexy ladies shit. who we are talking about who were like grown and sexy, yo the CEOs, yo, yo the the Yolin, the, the, they're technically all still idols. Like we they, just reacted to her group the other night. That was uh, me, sister. You, Kurt. but they are a little older though. Yeah, Sec- so yeah, second, second, so they might get that. They yeah. might get that. Redeemer is funny too. They basically was the cop, and they was like, every time y'all say like these second gen groups is grown and sexy, it's like because they grown as fuck. Like they all thirty plus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just well, also, not, not a, only that, that their videos that they were doing mm-hmm. this in is from the second gen. But like, do they, they get a? Low. Do they get that more leadway? Sister, yeah, that's her. That's Yolin's group. Yep. They were doing that in the second gen, is what I'm saying. Whatever happened, the divide between like even after Big Bang, just the total energy but that Big Bang. I'm not has, the only one that sees it, right? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, no, no, a, yeah. A sexuality drop well, off. Keep when I, it well, well I think what the difference too is that like. I, me personally, I think for women who are in this lane, like nice the lane. the contemporary dance and do what I want type lane, I feel like mm. you probably have more leeway to do particular things. Mm. Like you probably have leeway to have whatever backup dancers you want to ooze whatever sexual energy you want to get. Not to mention, because you're older, you would definitely want to get away from doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, no type doubt. Shit. No so, doubt. You know. But I know a lot of the labels control a lot of. The packaging. Mm-hmm. Um, so it seems like because they're older, they have more control over their own packaging oh, yeah. and how they're perceived. And, and the, it's, you know it's I mean? probably like how much control does an NBA player have, like on his rookie contract versus okay. Okay. versus you know what I mean? You kind of max and getting a max deal. And later I hate on to keep bringing this up, but like I guess like the pink situation. Exactly. Is she was on her? That rookie, is such she, a that is she, such a, a. She was on her rookie deal, right? Such a so situation just, that's uh, pl- applicable. Yeah, it's it's it's. It can almost be added to anybody's situation in music. Mm-hmm. For the most part, y'all, well, I hope y'all should know, you were at the, the mercy of the label pretty much when you were a newer artist, when you're just debuting and doing everything. And then later on, when you create a, have your fan base, you have platinum records, or you have things to kind of show that you can bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Now that contract situation changes. Once, now you have more control of your music. Once leverage, the return on the label's investment has been, per, you know... Sh- Come through. As some said, that it costs a hundred thousand dollars per year to invest in any idol and mostly every company. So you know, I, I try to give the labels a little bit of leeway with certain stuff, especially when people are four or five year idols. You see what people look like prior to, or you know, just how everything is. Or dancing the, the lesson, before, yeah. or singing voices yeah, before. singing lessons. You know, you can have a voice, but knowing how to sing. Right. Knowing right. how to kind of use your voice properly. Getting your stage how to presence dance. up. Yeah, knowing how to become public uh, grow, speaking. Public grow, speaking. In, grow into your artistry. <laughs> Even how to That's walk. a big deal, yeah. How to carry yourself, dress, have your image, you know. Because like, we've not seen born with some that people shit. that are like off, outside of the spotlight, and they're kind of awkward. But mm-hmm. once they're on stage, they they control it. Yeah, but yeah, Keith. I, I just before I let Kurt jump in here, I think to your point, I'm not going to speak like I know right. what's up as far as them feeling comfortable but with it's certain pattern, things. Though. But I, what I will say is, from what we've seen off of her numbers, those are great numbers, low kid. Yeah. Um, she has great numbers, and if you want to speak of, I guess like you said, low kind of like the makeup or like the nails being done. Look at uh, Dawn and them. Yep. He, Dawn looked like he'd do whatever he want. And MVs and stuff, but that's also after his cube contract was terminated. Really, um, you know what I mean. It's kind of able to kind of do what he wants. I guess if the music is decent, Keith, and you got a good mm-hmm. fan base, you probably can do whatever the fuck you feel like. But those those are great questions. And like I said, if y'all know more information about some of this stuff, feel free to jump in the comments and tell us about. I guess you're wondering what may still be taboo, right? And, and what may hurt you as an artist, because. 
Before we were told, well, at least I was told, especially with second gen, that tattoos right. were a no go in the K world and Until stuff like, like that. Big Bang. You see, now like, you see everybody. Jay, 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 Jay Young got, got a cool big had a big ass cross and mm-hmm. was on the mama stage with shirt off, everything mm-hmm. performing with his tat tatted up and everything. So you know, certain people broke down barriers for how the idols could carry themselves. They were know. Iverson in the NBA. Yeah. And it might be, like you said, like I go back to again, maybe some of the labels. Some labels may be a little bit more stern on certain things and other yeah. labels Trying to may not care. And some just y'all know about that. Some of your jobs may not allow tattoos being shown at the workplace. At this point in the U.S., that's kind of like a bullshit thing. Doctors, Everyone has tattoos. Doctors got tattoos. Yeah, doctors yeah, have yeah. tattoos and everything now. So, you know, I'm not sure how comfortable I'm going to feel with his shit on the side like it's biker world. <laughs> doing my shit. Like yo, I graduated top of my class. I was like, he got killed them all. Like God sort them out. Like God sort them out. And this guy doing surgery on you in a week. He's like listen, man, I'm just, I just like you know art and shit. Damn, I just save, just save the fucking hundred year old man. So make sure I'm straight, Doc. How you feel, Kurt? I got a motto. <laughs> Uh, I thought I thought this was really cool. Uh, definitely, her vocals are absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, again, she was hitting such incredible runs early on in the track, and then you know when it got towards uh, the the bridge towards the end of everything, like when she you know really let those notes out and everything. I mean, her voice is just incredible for sure. Um, a lot of the breakdowns with the choreography I love, um, and also they had so much that they were able to do within the choreography in the sense that um, the beat broke down like five or six different times at points. Um, and the way they were able to kind of use uh, those beat changes um, to kind of add a new element to the choreography, I thought it always kept it fresh, it always kept it engaging. Um, and certainly the whole black and white aspects of the video, uh, whether it's the, the black clothing with the white set in the background or the darker set with the white clothing, um, mm-hmm. and just the way they kind of juxtapose those, I thought they were, um, it was integrated very well within the video for sure, and it made it, again, always engaging. Um, the very beginning from that, that literal first uh, second that we hear of the beat, um, along with the background dancers being uh, positioned the way they were. It really felt like uh, BTS uh, Black Swan to me, um, the way it started off, and especially you know, as they, um, the background dancers were all kind of in uh, the dark clothing, almost silhouetted-like, um, mm-hmm. you know, kind of moving around her as like, she commanded them, mm-hmm. um, almost like in an orchestraic sense, like, a, um, like she was like, conducting the orchestra, so to speak. Right. Um, but I thought all that was done really well and it looked very poetic in a way as well. So I definitely, you know, whoever the choreographer was, um, absolutely snapped. And of course, all the background dancers and everything too. Um, then within the elements of the song, um, I was able to kind of bring up some of the lyrics just to clarify. Um, I do love how it kind of starts out with uh, I feel you between uh, light and dark, which perhaps, you know, because the, the whole song is stay the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it seems like this person is that light within them at, um, in the midst of that darkness. So just the way they kind of play on a little bit of that oxymoron, I thought was done really well. Um, and then in the, the second verse uh, towards the end, it says the night is deepening, making my closed eyes white. Um, and again, the, the, ju- the juxtaposition and the oxymoron of when you close your eyes, you see dark. But then, you know, she's seeing white, which... You know, whether that's like a proverbial like heaven or anything like that or just uh, representing a happiness, I thought the poetry within that was portrayed really well. And again, you know, just that whole uh, juxtaposing between night and uh, day or, or darkness and light um, with the black and the white used in the video, I thought that served really well. Um, definitely looks like there's a great budget behind it. Probably one of my favorite set pieces was that, that glitter mm-hmm. sequence uh, where she was dancing. Um, just 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 the way they shot it and the way they, they were able to capture it. I don't know if they changed the shutter speed or what they did, but just to kind of make every bit of glitter like kind of um, pop out in the frame, it just looked incredibly artsy um, and definitely you know caught my attention for sure. Um, also like the, um, the ladder breakdown towards the bridge, uh, the same one that you had pointed out, Keith, where she was uh, kind of like almost marinating like her hands and the background dancers were like kind of going against her. But there was one moment where they, uh, it almost looked like they made like black uh, horns behind her with the background dancer. And I just thought that created a very interesting aesthetic uh, with everything that was presented. But um, nonetheless, this was, this was incredible. I mean, her vocals are, are ridiculous and she definitely, um, I'm not sure how much of the production she's involved in or how much say she has as an artist, but she definitely seems to have that, that incredible stage presence and you know, artistry behind uh, to allow you to easily kind of further invest in her music. Um, so I just can't wait to see what we check out next. Yeah, I'm good. Does anybody else have anything anyone to add? No. Not at the moment, no. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to um, see, uh, like, who... Uh, oh, you looking for something? 
Well, no, nah, I, I was. Mean, if you're looking for it, then um, I like at the beginning of the video when I think Kurt was talking about like almost like the black swan effect where the guys were around her, but it almost looks like you ever see people in those gowns where it's like very um, bountiful and the bottom part is like very over uh, over exaggerated. That's what it looked like. It looked like they were like, you know, the bottom of her dress and moving and flowing until they broke apart and then did something else. Um, I think the choreography, the people, that, uh, the dancers definitely played a part. They played like a part of the setting. Um, they always change according to the setting as far as clothing and, and even the dancers themselves. Like sometimes she would have all guys and so she would have all girls and they all fit whatever background setting that she was going for or whatever mode that she was trying to go for. Like the, the women power mode where everybody has like the long ponytails, um, you know, they all kind of fit that that era and then she would go into like the all white with the guys with the you know the black lipstick and everything else everything just kind of fit everything hit everything was um on point just as far as what she chose to do and how she chose to do it as far as set pieces and finding the dancers and uh the people to, co to um correlate with those set people set pieces and make them part of the set themselves um it was just well done um from a whole direction and set piece standpoint it was perfect even when she's in like the box, the guys are dressed up like, honestly, like magician um, helpers. Um, black, so they don't really kind of blend in with the background of what's going on, which is traditional for magician helpers. And um, shiny, but they still stand out to go with the, the glare that was given off as well. Uh, this is, yeah, this was, I'm going to touch on that a little bit while this guy's searching. Yeah, no, I just was trying to look up like, uh, like the songwriting process, music video process and everything for here. Vincenzo keeps popping up a lot. <laughs> ironically for uh like producer songwriter uh like all along here but it's a couple of different people credited for stuff um as far as the song goes it's definitely broke like a lot of records uh like even from singapore and a whole bunch of other places down mm -hmm. there um the music video looked like it was very well received mm -hmm. um literally people stating it to be a masterpiece for the choreography and stuff like that and also okay. crediting yeah. the backup dancers and stuff too on here um, the song has major credits and accolades and stuff like that too, because I guess this was dropped on April of 2020 during like COVID and everything too. Oh, yeah. um, so yeah, so yeah, I just wanted some 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 clarity, I guess, with the music video and some of the other stuff too. But it seemed like not alluding that you were saying anyone would be bothered by anything in here, but it seemed like nothing wasn't affected or this wasn't like kind of like a, oh my god what's going on yeah a uh, moment and i don't think and i don't think that's what you were saying no no, no. i'm but honestly i'm just never sure about how what's things the temperature are of right certain things? because i'm not over there i don't know what's over there i don't know because sometimes it seems like maybe the country itself from a societal standpoint of what they allow might seem sexually repressed because they don't want you know what i mean because you know they, they want certain people covered up Oh, you can only show one nipple. Oh, you can only do this, only do that. You know what I mean? Like, well, mm -hmm. but in other work, but in other things where you kind of sexualize maybe idols who are probably in, in in our standards maybe a little too young to probably be looked at that way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of like what what really is the temperature over there, it, and what is it consistent? Um, and because I don't know, I ask questions. So I'm I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Nah, and uh, I was sitting here trying to uh, like look up a video, but matter of fact, y'all can send the link if y'all have it. I do want to look at a video of not so much sexualizing idols, but maybe a breakdown or somebody talking about how can I word this? What, almost like you said, kind of what's taboo, what's not? Why do why are some of them sexualized? Why are some of them oppressed? And I know some of it may be demographic or you're trying to hit and everything else, but I would like to watch like a 30 minute video and I'm kind of doing the history of and who broke barriers and giving certain people they flowers for doing certain stuff like that. I feel like I feel like it's like asking an NBA person like who broke barriers with the NBA stuff. No, but it might give us They'd more like, insight. <laughs> but, but it might give us more insight when we when we do our reactions to see the videos. Like oh, okay, so we understand this, we understand that. We know we can talk about this. And oh, okay, well, there's no reason to go into this because we know why about this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It just it gives a clarity. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Clarity's good. But yeah, yeah. Um, thanks, Madison, for this. Um, give us some more of Chunga um, because she Please. she she honestly be killing it. <laughs> Um, but other than that, Redeemers, love you to death. We're going to holla at y'all. Thank you. Take care.